Now starfish are a beautiful little addition to any sort of saltwater aquarium. But it's really important when you acclimatise the starfish to the aquarium, you want to put it in upside down so it doesn't get an airlock because they can't burp. And then you want to make sure that it is actually getting enough food. You want to make sure they stay nice and um, solid looking. And a lot of people fail to feed their starfish. A lot of people put them into reef aquariums, which are very sparsely fed. And then there's no chunky food source for the seahorse. They'll basically expect the seahorse to scavenge through the sand and on the rocks, which they'll do, but sometimes they need a more substantial food source than just what's found in and around your reef. If you have a large reef tank and you have plenty of fish, a, a scarfish scavenging amongst the reef is likely to find all the food that it needs. On the other hand, if you have a small aquarium or you don't have too many fish, you're really going to need to consider feeding this animal. So whether that be a bit of prawn or some spectrum pellets or whatever, just put it right next to the animal and you'll find that he'll very quickly move over onto the food and start digesting it. When they do digest the food, they're in their digestive system literally comes outside the animal, so it turns inside out, and the digestive system starts to digest um, any palatable food. So basically, if you try a starfish in your aquarium, and it does well, and it lives for years, all good. If you find that the starfish deteriorates after a period of time, it's really important to obviously check your water quality, but assuming that you're offering good quality water, you may need to consider feeding the starfish more often. So that would mean a morsel of food, whether it be a prawn, whether it be a, a spectrum wafer, you need to make sure this animal is eating several times a week. Also, try not to keep them in too low a salt level. They'll often find their way into fish only aquariums and people will run them at 1.018 or 1.020 and that's just too low. These are invertebrates and they do prefer a higher salinity. And some species of starfish are just plain easier to keep than others. So anyway, put a little comment down the bottom of this video and if there's any other little tips that I may have forgotten about then um, put a little comment down the bottom. Now if your starfish does get sick the first thing I encourage you to do is feed it more but there are products such as Revive that you can dip them in and putting a dose of Malefix can help to suppress bacterial infection as well and a light dose of hydrogen peroxide in the water. But the key to the starfish is don't let them get sick by feeding them properly in the first place.